Hi my all viewers today this video is going to speak about the spirituality and physics since i was like always talking about the significance of physics in various field like light and quantum mechanics and biolumidescence and all this video i want to connect both the spiritualism and physics it's a very divine field that we know about the spiritualism also the sp physics is going to be completely connected with the spiritualism you may wonder how a spiritualism and physics are connected i'll give you a basic example resonance in physics we call something called resonance resonance means some body is vibrating with a frequency an apparent frequency seeming to vibrate at an apparent frequency which is equal to the natural frequency and that leads to a condition called resonance in simple words resonance means matching of two frequencies So when we go to temple when we go to temple to worship god we know our hindu temple architectural structure is in such a way that we have that dome shaped or the pyramid shaped the rajagopuram and the karpagraha and all so there whatever we think and pray whatever we think and we pray we want certain things to happen we pray for certain we give some offerings and we ask the god for certain request or it can be some wishes or your ambitions whatever so whatever you think in that temple and pray to the god that they are nothing but the thinking waves these thinking waves will go around the temple karpagraha and the so called pyramid structure and it comes back to you so you have a confidence that yes i pray today to god and this is going to happen now so with that confidence you set your things right and one day it happens also i am not saying there is no god i am saying that physics is also god in inside the god also we have physics our prayers we have physics inside how only by resonance we keep thinking our thinking waves goes there it matches with the natural frequency of the positive vibes there and we come to a condition called resonance we have seen many people saying that god has captured and you know in tamil nadu we say sami vandirchu and some people will go to the extreme ecstatic state that state of ecstasy is because that resonance condition is matching this is this is the main uh, i will say the main connection between the spiritualism and physics it is all about the waves so and also we say panjaputa secondly i am talking about panjaputa panjaputa is where you have five different forms of energy energy vibration resonance frequency everywhere you can see the sound of physics being resonating and uh, this panjaputa the all the five forms of energies today we are all able to exist and live in the world only because of these five elements main major elements of nature these major elements in physics we call it as the sound energy heat energy wind energy today we are having many windmills where we are able to extract the wind energy and convert into electrical energy we have seen the fans the heavy tur turbine turbines and the fans where we are able to construct this kind of extract this kind of energy from the wind power so wind is a power heat is a power light is a power sound is also a power these are all different forms of energy we might have heard that just above the raja gopura of the uh, shri kalahasti temple they say that all the electromagnetic waves will neutralize all the electromagnetic waves are getting neutralized and we don't detect any signal at all at that point there are like this even up just above the tirupati tripadi main rajagopuram also we say there is a point where when the flights and the aircrafts are moving at that particular point there is a there is a neutralization of all the electromagnetic waves this is happening at a point in that point the energy is maximum and when people researched why this energy is maximum and where it is located just beneath the location they could see the temple they could see the kalahasti rajagopura or tripadi rajagopura where there is so much of positive vibes and resonance that the energy the energy the formation is getting is getting so so enormous that the signals are getting weakened there only at that particular point so there are there are many signs and theories and many people have conceived it in different different manner and they have perceived it so this is also one of my perception that yeah physics is playing a active role in spiritualism what we preach is physics what we pray is again physics and i wanted all this viewers all the students studying physics to 
acquire all these concepts into your mind and be proud that you are studying physics sometimes i even say physics is a prestigious subject because it is it is connecting from human to human the human connectivity we say the chemistry but more than chemistry there is something beyond you know beyond there is something like energy that is working out between both people that is nothing but physics so how we have the mind reading how we have the palm reading it is all a science and this science is always involving physics inside with all this concept i would like to thank all the viewers and see you again in the next video